Hello everyone, I'm Defush3004. Welcome back to Planet Crafter. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to hang out with me. I always enjoy having you here. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and let's get into some gaming. Last time we were here, we got a tree seed. We got a Linfolia tree seed that we found when we were exploring the new area way over there with our new map that we have. And you got to use the arrows down here in this area. Let me actually uh, scroll out a bit. It'll be so much easier to do it that way. Right down here in this burnt area, there is a chest right down here. And we got a new tree seed from it. We also went into this ship a little bit. And we explored that area. And we also have a new area up over here. I want to go check out this area as well. And go see what the heck may be over there. But we'll do that in a little bit. Right now, what I want to do is get this other tree seed planted that we have. And go see about what it is going to be like. I'm going to have to find another place to put trees at because you can tell we have a lot of trees growing here. Man, we got a forest here. What I would like to do is find a good place for it. These tier 3 tree spreaders are amazing, but man, they take up a lot of room. And I mean, the trees that they do take up a lot of room. So I want to go find a good place. Maybe, probably not over there on that really high area but let's go way out here and let's go plant some more trees out here look at how much stuff there is of course these little ones here don't do near as much but these big ones man they produce a lot of trees so I'm gonna go out here over probably on the other side here maybe out in this area and we'll plant some trees out here and this should help out a little bit with our oxygen and our plants so let's just go in and do that. We'll go to Q. We will get this tree spreader here. And we'll plop that guy down right about. I want to put him down here in this little bit lower area. Like right there. Sweet. Now let's go ahead and put in this tree seed. This is going to be the Linfolia. As far as I know, we do not have a Linfolia. We might, but I just don't know. And the tree's already starting to come up. That's what all of these are. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome when it does. What I also want to do is, since we can make those things that go into the areas inside the ships, maybe we can go and explore some of that back in the ships and see what the heck may be in some of those areas. Since we don't have to worry about oxygen, we can spend a bit of time in there and do that. So let's go make some of those real quick. I want to go see what it's going to take. because I don't remember. And I do believe it's going to be in here. Okay. Fusion energy cell. That's what I was going to make. Three pulsar quartz, obsidian, and two osmium. All right. Got everything that we needed for the fusion energy cell. I had to go all the way back over to that burned area, the volcanic area, to get some obsidian. Let's make at least one of these and go see. We're obviously going to have to have more than one. Fusion energy. Craft your fuse first fusion cell. Nice. All right. Well, let's go over to this ship here. And let's go see. Hopefully it won't take more than one. But we will find out when we get in here. Turn on our handy dandy flashlight. And let's go to the back. I don't think that's where I wanted to be. Uh, that was definitely not where I wanted to be. Okay. Uh, radiation containers. Never even noticed that before. That's interesting. I don't think there's anything back here we can take apart. Uh, all I gotta do is find out where that place is that we need to go to to put things in. Of course, it may not be this part of the ship may not have anything like that, but I was sure that there was one in here that had it, huh? 
Apparently not. Okay, well, I guess we're at the wrong ship then. Let's go over to that ship over there. Nice. Everything's so green over here. I do like it. Should be a door opening. Yep. I, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can definitely hear it. It's not very loud, but there is a sound whenever it makes the door open sound. Okay, let's go back here and let's go see about putting one in this fusion cell back here. Or fusion reactor, I guess it is. Open fusion reactor and let's put in a fusion cell. Okay. Look, there's like lights and stuff. I don't believe. Okay. We read that. I'm going to leave the fusion cell in there. Okay, that door does not open. But this door opened. So let's go and see what's in here, huh? Since we don't have to worry about oxygen or anything, we do have a little bit of room. Nice, look at that. Okay, we can use that stuff. I will come back and get this stuff. I'm not going to take it right now because we just, you know, kind of don't have a lot of room to work with. But we do have a little place outside that we can always take apart. All right, that's fine. I did harvest our garden, so there is that. And it looks like maybe we could go ahead and get some more of the circuit boards. Huh, look at that. There's a little opening. Look at that. Osmium rod. I'm taking that, and I'm taking that. Plant volness. Yay! Some more plant volness. All right. Sweet. Well, you never know when we're going to need those. You just never know. Open big safe. Oh, whoa, whoa. What the frippy doodles is that? Production multiplier fuse. You insert this fuse in an optimizer to reduce the time of generation of machines that generate items okay let's trade value 5,000 terra tokens that's nuts well we are definitely taking that looks like there's some interesting things there well let's go ahead and right click these and just take these terra tokens there's a thousand there let's take the lowest ones first oh yeah ba hey ba hey ba 5,000 do that one. We'll do this one. We'll take these terror tokens. Nice. That's a thousand. That's a lot of terror tokens. Hooky jamokies. And we will take these terror tokens. Wowzers, that's a lot. Hey, Space Trader, gain a total of 10,000 terror tokens. Can you believe that? Okay, so there's this safe here. We can come back and get that. Yes, we did take what was in there. Cool. So now what we have to do is go see about maybe loading up one of our other places. I want to go see. Okay, there's nothing to do back there. We can't get in there. I don't think we can even destruct that door. Okay, we cannot. Just thought I would check. You never know nothing in there and this should probably oh yeah okay wait where are we okay we're in the back still how much room do we have we have enough slots let's go in and tear these guys down too so we have them we'll go in and get ourselves some circuit boards okay only okay yes i guess we can I thought we couldn't do them all, but apparently we can, because I wasn't uh, I wasn't on the non-breaker downer thingy. Okay, so we have come back to a new area. That's cool, and that's right back in here. And so, okay, that's a fusion reactor. Of course, the lights turn red, so now we have come quite a ways. I didn't even realize that we hadn't gone back there, so... Yeah... Is this another area? What the heck? 
more areas. Well, we can't pick up any more. Let's go out. Let's dump stuff in our place out there. And that should be straight in. Okay, cool. I am going to go do that. And then we're going to go see about exploring a little bit more. We still got to go down there too. Eventually, soon enough. And then we will go ahead and put, I guess, those in there. I want to keep the good stuff with, with me, you know. Because it would be bad if we lost that. Sweet. Well, this is awesome. I do like this. This is way cool. I am actually thoroughly enjoying this. So now we can go straight back. We might even be able to go back there. But let's go into here first. Let's break down this stuff. And let's take whatever there may be back here. Which I don't know for sure yet. Okay, good. Wow, lots of lots and lots of stuff. We're definitely going to be loading up. That is for sure. And this stuff is going to help us out a lot. But there's so much stuff here. That's awesome. That's going to help us out. And I have to gather as much. I think that we went back into this area or not. Okay. Nothing back here unless we already broke stuff down. You never know. We might have. Since I'm getting very confused back in these areas. That's the way out. And... Wait. This is the way out. Okay. Was there another area back here then? Okay. So I know we got all this stuff cleared out earlier. I'm just trying to remember where we were earlier and where we have been or, or not been or whatever. Okay, there we go. I think everything in this ship is now done. I am going to leave those doors open because I need to, to come back and get stuff. We do have some room. Let's go ahead and load up with whatever we can get real quick before we head out. I think that would be for the best. And... We did everything back here. Okay, this is in there where we need to go because the fusion reactor is right back there. So this was the first area that we did. Okay, got it. Let's take these. The iridium rods we can sell. I'm not too worried about that. So we'll do that. We have three slots. Let's take the osmium and then let's go to this one. I'm not too worried about what's in there, and as far as I know, that's it in this area. And then maybe right down over here is that big safe. There's also this here. So we'll take that, and then we're also going to see what is in there that we might need. We can go ahead and grab that zeolite. We'll put all this stuff out there, and then we will probably go see about making another one and exploring some more stuff so confusing back in here now that these doors are open it's really hard to tell what's what hi 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 all right let's go back over to our base let's go see about making another one we'll have that on us so we got lots of stuff to clear out. That's for sure. We're going to have to definitely build that more chests on the other floor. Because we are pretty much out of room on that one floor. We'll go and check on our trees in a little bit. And we will go and see what we can do out at that ship. And we have so many ships to explore and get stuff out of. It's going to be a while before we actually get all of this kind of stuff done let me get that put away i'll make another reactor and we'll head out i got the other one made so now we have an extra fusion cell i guess i should probably drop this production multiplier thing actually i'm gonna put you in there for right now we still need to do another butterfly farm or something and what I'm going to do is just put that in there for the time being. And those seeds. I don't think I need any more of those bean seeds. But uh, yeah, I have a lot. That way we have those. And I'm going to see about putting a plant away. If I can find room. I did see another Volnus in here, it looked like. 
Thought I saw another Volnus. Maybe I didn't. Yep, another Volnus right there. Cool. So we do have Volnuses. I am happy for that. And it looks like maybe what I'll do is just slap that guy in there for right now until I can figure out some room. We're at 1921. This is a 4891. Almost 50 GTI. That is crazy. What I want to do, too, is since we've done one ship, I want to go over and I want to go see about that beach thing area whatever hey butterfly farm we got the butterfly farm we got the butterfly farm let's go look at that real quick before we go too far so we have ooh, butterfly farm increases butterfly larvae insert butterfly larvae in it to increase insect levels insect 75 a second Bioplastic, zeolite, and fertilizer tier 2. Not too bad to make. We can maybe even do a couple of those. So we have our new trees. These guys are the new ones growing up. It looks like there's these. Oh, and these and those. So that's very interesting. That's awesome. That's great. I do like that. I'm going to get a sip of water here. Keep up my liquid content. Okay. Then we'll go over there, we'll have a piece of food, and we'll go and explore that new area at least a little bit. Just notice the chest here too is probably empty. It is not empty, not even close. We will gather that later. I just want to go make sure that we do explore new areas. And it should be just on the other side of this arch here. If I saw the map correctly, at least our oxygen is good, so we don't have to worry about that. And I really like that part, but I'm still taking a couple of bottles just in case. Ooh. Okay, we know about this here. We have been to all of this. We still need to get reactor into that ship, but we will worry about that a little bit later. Let's go out here to this area and let's just go see what may be out here. So as far as I know, this should be the area. Let me go check real quick. I think we're out here, but it's kind of hard to tell. Because it definitely looks like it, unless that is the arch thing. And I am just very confused right now. So let me... Scroll out and have a quick look-see here, because we've done all of this area down here in the burnt area. I'm just trying to see. Okay, that would not be a new area, so there's nothing there. And on this map, it doesn't look like there's anything else there besides this area that I really don't know anything about. So, and I really wish we could use our keys for that, you know. Left, right, up, and down, but we can't, so we just have to click and click until our fingers fall off. Okay, so I guess we are in the right area. Let's go ahead and make sure we have a piece of food real quick. And I just want to go see... If there is anything out here. So I think those things were pushed back quite a ways. It doesn't look like there's any material out here. So as far as that goes, I really don't know, but I guess we'll find out. And that's the burnt area over there. So I just don't know exactly where we're supposed to be for the new beach area. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm assuming it is this, this here. But since I'm not seeing anything, I am not 100% convinced that it is. Let me do a little exploring and see what I can find. I am in a new area that I don't believe we have seen before. If we go to the map, this is out here with all of these rocks. The crater is right up there. And over here is that other ship. And the dark area with the volcano is right over here. It's either this area here or up here in this area. And so far, I am not recognizing any of this out here. I have never seen this before. So I think this may be the new beach area, but I'm, it's kind of hard to tell. 
Now, that other ship is right over there, so this is quite possibly a new area. I am just trying to determine if it is, and it's very, very hard to tell. But there are new things here that I haven't seen. I'm not seeing, like, you know, much of chests or anything yet. But it does kind of look like a beachy type area, you know, with some rocks and sand and other stuff like that. No water. So is that really a beach or is it not? I'm not too sure. So here is that ship that we have we have our place right down there. And I don't know if any of this stuff back here was actually there. So this is the most interesting part is I don't remember this stuff ever being here. So this could be the new area. I'm not too sure exactly what I think about it. It definitely looks interesting, but there's not what I can see a lot of unique things here, you know? I mean, I'm not noticing any underworlds or whatever, you know, that I was thinking I might see. So what I'm gonna do is travel on the other side over there and go see what is over there and if that looks any different and I'll come back and let you know. Well, I do see a chest as I was heading over there. There is a golden chest out here. Cool. Well, another golden effigy and some pulsar quartz. We'll take this stuff here. What's that? Golden seed. Cool. We'll take that. It doesn't look like there's anything really super duper important here, but there is a golden chest out here. So just as I was getting ready to exit the area, I just happened to notice it. It is not easy to find because it kind of matches the sand or, yeah, I guess the sand out here. It's not too far away from really the beginning of this area. It's going to be a pain to find again, but that's okay. I just want to make sure to cast some room back so in case we do find another good area then you know we have some stuff we can collect there is the area on the map that is this area i do believe right over here there is that waterfall and it looks like there is a beautiful like area right down here i'm gonna have to go see what is out here it is um I don't know if I fell through the earth or what, but, uh, okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to be out here, if I'm stuck underneath rocks or what, but, uh, very interesting area. So I'm going to see if I can get out here. I'll try to get out of here if I can. This is behind the waterfall. I'm just not too sure exactly what is over here. There's nothing in the water, like there's no items or anything, and the water just kind of stops right there. Okay, very interesting. I don't think we're supposed to be out here, though. Things seem very broken out here. So maybe this isn't the place to be. Maybe it was over on the other side. Somehow I think the area down there is not supposed to be for us because it is not easy to get out of. And if you do get stuck behind areas like that there is something you can do if you press f4 you will go up in the air and then when you stop you will come back down so do keep that in mind i don't believe we're supposed to be out in that area yet or maybe there is just nothing out there for us and right now that's just not the area so it could have been over there where that big ring was I don't know, is all I know is I'm going to get off these rocks before I end up having something bad happen, like glitching through and can't get out. That would not be so good.
And then I am gonna go back to the base. I was just hoping that I could find the beach, but apparently I don't know exactly where it is. Let me see, I want the crater, that's over here. Now I'm gonna head back home. We're gonna go see about making a butterfly farm, and then we'll see about maybe even exploring another ship. Probably at another, another time. I'm back over here where I thought it was the beach area, mainly because I think what we should do is just go ahead and take everything here. Let's break down this chest, and then we have that. And since I'm in this beachy area, or what I am assuming is the beach area, we can just go over here to buy this big ship and teleport out of there. I was going to go out the way of the crater. Oh, look, another chest. But decided just to come over here. So there are chests out here. Good. And looks like we have a lot of really good stuff out here. So let's take this and we'll take that. And then we'll have to figure out where this place is with this chest. Shouldn't be too far away from the waterfall, which should be right over there. And then our little place is right over here. So I do believe this is going to be the place where the beach or whatever you want to call it is. And it looks like there are a few chests out there, just not, you know, any water or anything like that, which I would assume would be around a beach, but... Otherwise, I would call that more of a desert than a beach, really. A pretty desert, but still a desert nonetheless. I had to relabel this chest Osmium and Osmium Rods, and then took all the Osmium out of this Pulsar Quartz. And then up in here, I went ahead and put the Zeolite all on that one. And last time I was here too, I took, I had a Iridium Rod in this chest, which is empty, but now I have the Obsidian in there. So I'll probably put all the Obsidian in there when I get that far. And we have lots of rods. Okay, that's cool. Let's go see about a butterfly farm now. Let's go see. Tier 2, zeolite and bioplastic. So I do need a zeolite. Let's go grab that real quick. Bioplastic and a tier 2 fertilizer. And then we can make that and go put a butterfly thingy in there. Bioplastic should be in one of these as far as I know. We're going to have to think about making some of that too. And then we need a tier 2 fertilizer, and we have one tier 2 fertilizer. How do you like that? All right, now let's go out here. I think they go outside, but I'm not 100% certain. Q, and let's go see about this butterfly farm. Ooh, look at that. Maybe what we should do is I'm going to stick it over here by our little crop thing. Okay, let's put it right there. So we need to put a butterfly larva in there. So let's go do that. What I think is we do have a couple of these. So let's put in a Neri in there. We could always probably find another one of that, I'm sure. And then let's put him in there. That is 600. Okay, cool. So now we have that and that is done. Now, the but the insects should be going up quite a ways. So for right now, what I think we've done is actually pretty good because we've gotten to one ship. We do have another one of these fusion energy cells. What I think is before we end this, let's actually go over here to this ship and let's go see if there's anything we can do in here. So last time we were at this ship, there was no way to get into some of the areas well because we were constantly running out of oxygen but now that we don't have to worry about that food is and water is our only real detriment so that is good some of these places are being buried underwater too how do you like that so now we should actually be doing pretty good and i hope that we can find our way through here Okay, that goes the other way. I want to go back to the fusion generator. I'm going to have to eat a piece of food. And go see. Oh, and we can break down these guys too. Yeah, there's lots of stuff in here that we can do. 
I just don't remember where the fusion generator is in this ship. So let me go see if I can find it. I just do not remember. Okay, I found it. I had to go up a ladder right here, which I kind of totally forgot about. And, hey, hey, let's go ahead and put this one in. Okay, so it did turn on some more lights. And looks like nothing back here has opened up. Okay, cool. So we got another one of these put in. I do know that some of these are going to take more than one. Oh, this area right here. Let's go see. Looks like there's another big safe in here. Some more really, really good stuff there. And let's go ahead and see. Like, look at all the stuff we can break down. Holy moly. Wow. Holy. Oh, hey, what's that? Energy multiplier fuse and production multiplier fuse. We're taking those fuses, that's for sure. 5,000, 1,500. Let's open up the smaller ones. Okay, we'll do them first. Okay, there's another 100 right there. That's crazy. We have a lot of terror tokens. Holy moly. So we're coming up with terror tokens like crazy. That's nuts. Man, then we'll take that, and we'll take that. And it looks like we are getting pretty full. I'm not going to get too worried about some of that other stuff. Cool. So there's even more things here that we can do and collect. That's awesome. I will see about gathering up all of this stuff too. But for right now, what I'm going to do is get out of here. Okay, just make sure everything there is good. Let's go down this ladder. And once we're down here, there could also be more open rooms available to us. But I don't know. We're going to have to definitely go and carefully see because there is always that possibility that some of these other doors here did open up again. And if they did, then, you know, okay, not through there. And that's okay. We do have some more of these to break down as well. This is awesome. I really, really like this. Okay, this is the beginning, and then let's go here this way. There shouldn't be anything back in here. There is not. Let's go ahead and go down this, and let's go see. This is crew quarters. Nothing back here, but I don't know if there's going to be anything back here. So I don't remember if we explored all of this. I'm pretty sure that we did. And it looks like we did, so there's nothing left in this part of the ship. Okay, cool. Now I know, and now you know too, so you don't have to really worry about coming to explore anything back here if you've already done this. Sweet. Okay. Since all of this is done, as far as that goes, we just have a little bit of stuff to clear out. And I guess this ship is also now done. And if I remember correctly, there is a lot of stuff still up in here. Like there should be a lot of aluminum and iridium and everything else. And there he is. All right. Well, this is Planet Crafter. Thank you for joining me here. We got our butterfly farm. That's going to help with the insect levels. I can really see that arch from here. That's crazy. Or I guess that's that stuff back there in that area. It's not the arch. And we also got some into some ships with the fusion cells that we have now. Now we just need to work on getting our oxygen up, which means I need to plant some more of those plants and get that going so we can get some of that stuff coming in too because that's going to be really good. Let's go look at our insect levels real quick. Trying to see. Okay, insects right there. Looks like they're going up pretty good. So that's at 90.68. And that's awesome. That's helping out a lot. Plants are going up. Looks like pretty good. 124, 798.80 grams per second. 
and the insects are 2055 grams per second so that's good and i saw that just change when he came in it looks like it just changed again so that is really really good we got to see another new area another newish area i guess i wouldn't call that a beach like they called it but it is a new area and we got some of the fusion multiplier stuff so we can figure out how to build those things i don't know anything about there they are they are these right here machine optimizer find and insert fuses into this to boost the performance of nearby machines so what i'm assuming is that that will not do so much for those but like the ore extractor that we have back here it will probably help out with the ore extractor to use less energy or get better stuff or whatever but i'd like to use it on like the tier two machines instead of the tier one so that way we don't have to you know use it on those because those are like base level ones and i want to use it on better ones if at all possible if you've enjoyed the episode drop a like on the video and leave a comment about what you think or things that i can do better in this game and all of that stuff and you have a great day and we will talk to you next time bye bye